And we are back here about to watch the D1 final here at the 2013 PSP Mid-Atlantic Open. I'm Maddie Marshall alongside Nikki Cuba, Team Infamous. Florida Kings taking on VCK in this race to five. Should be a good game if any of the other games we've seen so far today are any indication. They've been amazing all day. It's pretty cool to see all these teams stepping up and playing hard paintball. So here we go, VCK on your screen right now as they break out and it looks like they are going to have down a, oh, body. Down a body right away. Florida Kings, five alive in pretty much all the standard spots. Snake one, Dorito one. VCK also has Dorito one, Snake corner. Yeah, they lose a body too, so Florida Kings dropping one, VCK drops one as well, so it's four on four right now. Better field position though for Florida Kings as they have a little bit better field position than Snake. They're in Snake 1, shooting cross field towards the Dorito 1. That's been the, you know, the gunfights between Snake 1 and Snake 2 and Dorito 1 have, there's a lot of kills that come back and forth from those positions. Correct, and now it's finally matched up with VCK. Florida Kings swing out to give some support to their Snake player as they jump in the Snake 2 where he can get a shot on Dorito 1. Matching it in the Snake side corner is VCK to also help out his snake side guy so he doesn't get double teamed. Yeah, and right now, matchup here, still you know, better field position now is because the Kings have been able to move up right now and you're looking at VCK on your screen and that's the furthest player they have up on the snake side of the field. He's battling with that Torito one. Ooh, I think he, at, oh, and he oh. got taken out. Danny, that's what I'm talking about. That cross field shot, man, you really gotta be careful. You know, when you get in there, that's that's just the that's the first shot you're looking for in either Dorito one or Snake One or Snake Two is a cross field and, and uh, getting taken out there. Yeah, and what I tell you know my players and what we tell the players that you know I coach, don't push up on that race bunker in the snake two because you create a bounce shot off of the leg segment into your face. And that's what happened. Yeah, so here we go. Robert Hopkins coming off early in Dev for uh, Florida Kings, and Devin Stewart comes off early for VCK. Oh, it looks like Ryan Zarbaugh for Florida Kings. He dies as well, so. VCK capitalizing on that, taking Dorito three as soon as he knows that there's no one looking at him on Dorito's side. 12 minutes and 50 seconds to go here. Like you were talking about the Dorito one battle to Snake two, Dorito three to Snake one battle is you know, same intensity. Yeah, uh, no, uh, exactly. And, but that's paintball. Paintball, it's a game of angles, it's a game of aggression, it's a game of controlled aggression, really. But. Oh, and VCK, v I'm sorry, Florida Kings getting another one shot out of there. But also VCK lost that battle from Dorito 3 to Snake 1. So kind of a seesaw battle back and forth as far as guys getting shot out of their bunkers. Three but, on two battle right now yeah, in favor of uh, Florida Kings. Yeah, well, no, 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 VCK's got three bodies left alive. So VCK uh, with three players alive, two in the snake, one over here for the Florida Kings, and he's left out on an island. Well, they're bo they both are. You know, there's, there's one player on the drill side and one on the snake side. Both VCK guys decide to jump into snake two. We haven't seen, I haven't seen this once all tournament long. I mean, he should, uh, number 21, we're looking at Matt Jackson. He should probably back up, play that, you know, uh, elbow inside so he can watch. He got that shot across field right now on D1 from that shot. Leaving one Florida King left in the snake. He's battling out. He's getting double teamed down his wire. He actually took control of it. Yeah, so here we go. As... Uh VCK has doubled up that snake too, and now moving into the 50 yard line. It's, there's that smart aggression that we talked about. And they do have the one body advantage, but we are in the finals. So, you know, these guys are trying to decide who, who are the new, who are going to be the reigning champs here from D1. And Florida Kings just not enough here in this first point. So, VCK with three bodies alive Matt Jackson, John Jackson, and TJ Danner left alive for VCK to hang this flag. That was a solid point, but I think VCK needed to do a little bit more communication between the two of them. It didn't look like they were communicating at all to uh, really control that snake one guy. He was being able to pop up and at will, you know, come up and battle. He should not be able to do that. Yeah. 
All right, so with 10 minutes and 42 seconds to go, VCK up one over the Florida Kings. We're going to be right back after this. Iron Sky look at the field set up here, and it's been an interesting field layout. You know, uh, we've seen teams play it aggressive. We've seen play, teams play it conservative. Both have worked, you know, and uh, and right now we're seeing these two teams throw down here to see who's going to take the D1 championship as Florida Kings and VCK. You know, so Nikki infamous kind of struggling a little bit in this event um but you guys did maintain your champions uh spot so we did i mean uh it was you know not uh being ready to play we we practiced we were you know ready for this field we played against damage we played against 187 um i think it may have been that we were taking those two teams you know lightly you know when we we're coming out there maybe game plans weren't effective enough well, and it showed. you get to throw down again in Chicago, so. That's our home field. That's where we throw down the best. All right, so here we go. VCK and the Florida Kings on the breakout. Trying to get out wide. VCK on the snake side, able to do it. Five alive on both sides. D1 is the furthest bunker for Florida Kings. Oh, and ja snake one. Yeah, Jackson getting shot for VCK. So just one play over here in the snake structure. And also one for the Florida Kings as well. So Florida Kings have a slight advantage, slight one body advantage here. See if they can take it, let's see if they can take advantage of what they've created for themselves. And they've spread the field. You know, they got guys two on each side. They're watching lanes. Dorito one's cutting down snake one so that he can't move up into that next set, uh, leg segment. Right now, Florida Kings coming up in the snake two, also in the snake one, followed up right behind him. Yeah, and so let's see if these teams can take over. Let's see if uh, Florida Kings can take advantage. They have two bodies over here, both in the snake. Now, VCK, they also have two bodies on the snake side, but one has decided to stay at the tower. Nick, do you feel that that's, is, it, do you, is staying at the tower a good idea over there? Or should they try to bump up into snake two and get him right behind him? Or do you, you think because they're down a body, it's better to be on your feet? Well, with that tower on the snake side, you can you know, switch to the other side, control the Dorito guy from coming down the field. And you could also switch back and control the snake side. So that is a key bunker on the field to control this field. And there has to be good communication between those two towers right now to be watching both sides. Right now, you know, they're both spread out, controlling Dorito side for the Dorito tower, snake side for the snake side tower, and that's what, you know, is good. Yeah, so, you know, he's still staying in that spot. And really long conservative point here as these two teams locked into gunfights cross field and uh, Florida Kings really not doing anything with the one body advantage yet. VCK is stuck in that back Dorito corner where you can get pinched out when there is a guy so deep in the snake for the Florida Kings and also on the Dorito side. If the Dorito Florida King player decides to spread it out to the corner, match that, he could really, you know, mess up the guy down the wire. And if he communicates with his guy in Snake 2, they could pinch that guy out, clear him out, and be able to move down the field. Oh, look at this, though. VCK losing another body. So the Florida Kings have an opportunity to tie this game up right now. Let's see if they can do something, though, with the two-body advantage that they have. Still don't really see them looking as far. You know, you always can tell by body language what players are thinking. And, you know, uh, Florida Kings are still locked into their zones. Well, they have the positions. VCK can't really move up on this field on a Dorito side. So it really comes into play of that snake side player being able to get in the snake two and putting pressure on Dorito one for Florida Kings. Maybe even clipping 
the tower on Dorito's side in his back. So, here we go. Florida Kings coming up in the 50 snake. Getting a shot on the tower and on Dorito's side corner. Putting pressure on both of them. They're both having to hide. Right now, he, he has the ball. You have five guys alive for Florida Kings. Right now, the guy in the snake side tower for Florida Kings has you know, the ball, so to speak, to come through the middle of the field. No one's really shooting at him. He has that opportunity to come up through the middle of the field and close out the angles on one of, you know, either the snake one or the Dorito side. So, yeah, really conservative and Florida Kings right now. That, yeah. They finally make the move to the 50-yard line, which is making extra super duper sure and Florida that it's Kings safe to move up. Wound up shooting out Dorito side tower, and that snake 50 also shot out Dorito corner. He got two solid kills right there. Number 23, we're looking at Melvin Perez. He had a great game right there. Yeah. That was a solid point. Yeah, Melvin Perez looking real solid. And the rest of the Florida Kings taking it slow and steady. And so as that flag's about to get hung for the Florida Kings to tie it up, we're going to check in with Lauren Kelly, and she has our Div, uh, Division Four champions. As we are kicking off the award ceremony, first up on the podium is Excavators. You guys are D4 race to two. You got third place. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, first I want to ask, I heard you guys went to four points. You're race to two. How is that possible? Well, we, uh, we played three points, uh, five-minute points. We tied with the team. It was an awesome match. It was just a tough battle back and forth. Uh, you know, we had to go to the rest to figure out what was going on. They were like, well, you guys have to play a fourth point. So we were like, hey, let's go out there, do it again. We love playing the sport. We love being here. It was just, hey, it was just fun to play another point, you know, getting ready for X-Ball. Well, you won that point. That's why you're here. Um, so what did you think of the field layout? Oh, it was it was awesome. I'm myself a back center player, so uh, it wasn't very uh, helpful to me. But, you know, we got it done. Third place. I'm really proud of my boys, my staff, everybody here. Uh, Anyone you want to thank? Oh, plenty of people. Empire gave us these awesome guns. The paint shot amazing. Just dropping right into the bunkers. We were able to get a lot of shots that we weren't able to do at our own field. Uh, I'd like to Jeff, uh, thank Jeff Foy. Uh, helped us out a lot. Paintball, Sports and Supply, uh, Sports 55. Got us the jerseys really quickly. You know, was able to play this event. Uh, I'd like to thank Kevin from uh, Empire, John from Empire. Really hooked us up, helped us out with this event. And I just, you know, thank you guys. And everybody that played today played awesome. Our staff helped us out in the pits, everywhere else. It was just, it was awesome to play. Jeez, that's a long list to memorize. Well, congratulations, guys. Good luck at the next event. All right. Beautiful afternoon here, Chesapeake City, Maryland, at OXCC Paintball Park. You know, got to thank Recarver. And man, I'll tell you what, we, this tournament has just been amazing. We had such, such good paintball today. And, uh, you know, really happy to be up here calling it because we couldn't ask for really closer games. I mean, every single game has been hotly contested, and we're watching another one right now in uh, some really long points as uh, Florida Kings just make an extra sure that they put that tying point on the board, even though they had the advantage early. So five minutes and 52 seconds to go, and the score is one to one. Five alive on the breakout for both teams. Both teams getting the snake one and matchup pretty well across the field. VCK making a, their first move down to Doritos to apply pressure in Dorito one. And so, right now, looks like Florida Kings and VCK in good field position, though. Looks like the uh, VCK boys pushing forward a little bit more aggressively as number five, David Lum, David Lum, has been able to get all the way to Snake 2. Now here comes the Florida Kings. We're looking at Melvin Perez also matching Lum in the Snake 2 and being followed up by his teammate. And uh, they're doing some work together over here with uh, Brandon Rittenhouse and Melvin. They're playing solid. You know, you get that one-two punch in the Snake and you're able to uh, catch hoppers and, and catch bodies shooting at Snake 2 from Snake 1. Yeah, and yeah, well, that's what you're looking for in that situation. Five players alive for both teams, and the work, uh, you know, John Jackson and uh, Mitchell Adris are both killing guys for DCK, Florida Kings, getting production out of Melvin Perez, and 
David Sloten. Totally matched up now on the field, except for the Dorito side. The Florida Kings still stuck in that corner where they need to get in that Dorito one, apply pressure to these snake guys on VCK so they don't have so much freedom. And here we go. This game is brought to you by CC Paintball. Supply, they got two locations, Corona and Norco in California, Southern California. Uh, by SC Village, they've been around a long time, fully stocked stores, dye certified tech centers, knowledgeable gun techs. Go check out both their locations and they will definitely take care of you. That's a great place, California. I miss that place. Yeah, CC Paintball also sells GoPros too. It's cool how like, you know, the diffusion of media, all these gun cams and you know, you just online, there's just all sorts of craziness from uh, everything from tactical paintball to tournament guys running people down. It's, it's just really cool. It's like a whole nother level of, uh, of, of these you know, really cool moves at, any, at every level is getting yeah, out Yeah, it's at social media. It's, you know, being able to capture, you know, every second of every day and putting it out there and letting everyone see it, whether it be on, uh, you know, Twitter or Facebook. So here we go. In this Florida one. Kings down one body. Yeah, this is the longest. Um, this is these are the longest points we've seen all all, all tournament long, honestly, because we only have three minutes left to go here, and we're still tied up at one apiece. So if nothing changes here, we could go to an overtime period. And the way that these two teams are playing, I wouldn't be surprised if we see some more one on ones. As you said, these are the longest ones, and I think this is you know level of talent is getting better and better as we're getting to the higher divisions. And this is what you're going to see come up in the Challenge Division and the Champions Division. Coming up with Vicious and 187, Damage and Dynasty. They're going to be long, drawn-out points. Who's going to make the mistakes? Who's going to get the, the Gs on the break? And right now, VCK doing work, clearing out the whole snake side. That was a huge kill right there. Yeah, huge kill. David right. Lum is just doing work. He, he shot out both guys down this side. Yeah, Brandon Rittinghouse and Melvin Perez coming off early for Florida Kings. And... So now VCK, after a uh, long drawn out point here, really looking like they could put another point on the board. And I'll tell you what, if VCK wins this point, they got a real shot of winning the tournament. Yes, they do. You know, we got two minutes left in this game. They got to play solid paintball. At this point, I might run the clock if I was VCK, if they were smart enough. You know, take some more time off the clock so true, that... True, they still got to... Okay, so that's a smart move. The Florida Kings are going to concede the point even though they have two bodies left alive. And the reason why they're going to do that is, you know, if they don't, they're then... They're conserving they, their time. Well, that coach had a, a smart play in his head. He wanted to, you know, keep that time on the board. Yeah, so, all right, while we have another break, we are going to head to Lauren with some more of the award ceremony. All right, next up on the podium, we have Storm Riders. They got second place for D4 Race to 2. What would you guys think of the event this weekend? It was pretty good. Uh, went real smooth, you know, a couple of hiccups, but other than that, it was pretty good. Awesome. Anyone you want, want to thank? Uh, first off, HK for providing us with these good jerseys. Um, Falcon, Meadowlands, Battle Creek, Avid, Virtue. Um, let's think about it. All right. Awesome. Your jerseys are pretty fly. Congratulations on winning, guys. Thank you. <laughs> a and Gear rocks the largest inventory of any paintball retailer. From our massive selection of guns, to our endless supply of goggles, a Gear.com can supply your every paintball need. We have a large selection of paint in stock and the best loaders on the market. Our huge inventory of jerseys and pants ensures that we have sizes for all different types of players. 
don't forget we also carry the highest quality paintball tanks. With your choice of free shipping on orders over $100 to next day, Saturday, or international shipping options, you get the products you need sooner. Shop now at ansgear.com. So here we go, minute and 53 seconds remain in yet again another close match. We haven't seen one blowout today. It's been nothing but close, awesome games all day long here at the 2013 PSP Mid-Atlantic Open. I'm Maddie Marshall alongside Nikki Cuba. And in case you just tuned in, we're watching the Florida Kings take on VCK here in this D1 final. VCK and with the lead two to one. Florida Kings losing a body on the break on the Dorito side, but also VCK on Dorito side losing body on the break. Florida Kings take Dorito three off of that advantage because that tower is now watching them and no one else is and capitalizing on that. And it looks like maybe two more bodies for Florida Kings are coming off, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think so. So Florida Kings, uh, they got Alex Spence and Melvin Perez on the team. And those two players left alive here. VCK coming down strong onto the Florida Kings side. Now just Alex Spence left alive. And so Florida Kings going to blow that horn again because it's just been all VCK here. So with a minute and 13 seconds left, it's not looking good for the Florida Kings. I mean, uh, if the Florida, Florida Kings just come down. Yeah, so yeah, Florida Kings, man. They're going to have to pick it up here. Barely any time left, and we'll be—we're uh, actually going to check in with Lauren Kelly, and she has some more of the award ceremony. Up on the podium for first place for D4 race to do race to two is OTP United. Congratulations, guys! How do you feel? Awesome, awesome. Guys played awesome. Uh, I think it's the best event we've ever played together. So. We're looking forward to the next one. Awesome. What did you think of the entire weekend PSP put on here? It ran super smoothly. The refs were great. Uh, everything, no problem. So couldn't ask for a better event. All right. And who do you want to thank? Uh, on Target Paintball, Big John Mal Mal Malham at home. Uh, Die for shooting, uh, letting us shoot their paint, which was unbelievable. And then, uh, of course, uh, the big man upstairs, God. So he helped us out today. And anybody else I forget? PSP, thank you for the yes, event. Yes, thank you, PSP. All right, congratulations, guys. Let's hear some cheering. You guys need to be excited. <laughs> congratulations. No! <laughs> so, Nikki, with a minute and 13 seconds left, you're, v you're uh, Florida Kings. You got some talent on this team. What are you, you going to bring out here, man? What do you, what do you think they're going to run? Oh, I Double mean, A moves? Like, I mean, they gotta, they got to get something. They're going to lose if they don't you, do anything here. Well, what I would run is uh, what we, we ran as infamous is, you know, one up to A side, Dorito side, and then tower controlling the Doritos, and then come into that uh, second snake on the break. That's what you got to do. You got to bring it with uh, 20 seconds. You got to win 20 second points right now. So here Which, we go. It's it all going to get decided on this break. It doesn't Does Florida Kings stand a chance? Uh, I don't know. We're about to find out. They're playing too far back. They didn't bring anyone up in the gut. And uh, they're complacent with having a gunfight right now, which they can't do. They can't be uh, spending this much time in their bunkers. They need to be coming down the field, applying pressure. VCK, all they have to do right now is sit, control lanes, lock it down, and uh, have a picnic. And that's what they're doing. Florida Kings finally come in, coming up into the center of the field, but uh, not far enough, not even to the A. 
So we're coming up on 29 seconds, yeah, and it's, it's not going to it. be enough. Yeah, it's not going to be enough, Nikki. Yeah, so, I mean, at this point, here we go. Ref in there checking out the last play or, uh, center player for... But it's not, it, you know, at Florida Kings, at least giddy up, try to go put some welts on somebody because, you know, at least they'll remember that they played you. Yeah, and uh, we're coming up on five seconds left and VCK just locking it down. Florida Kings now applying the pressure, which they should have done about 50 seconds ago. Absolutely. So that is going to do it as the game ends. And congratulations to VCK. They are the new, you know, the, they got Florida Kings have the name, but the title is going to go to VCK. They are the new kings of the D1 bracket here. They are, and that's pretty cool to see. You know, we're looking for that next up-and-coming team, next up-and-coming player to see who comes up into the challengers and champions division. Yeah, so, man. Again, hats off to VCK. They take this final matchup. Next up, we are going to have Omaha Vicious taking on 187. Both of those teams will be uh, advancing and moving up into the Champions Division again. And but we're going to we got to still we got to decide who's going to win. You know, somebody's got to win. Someone has to somebody's win. Somebody's got to win. So we're going to check in with Lauren Kelly here with more of the award ceremony. Hey guys, I have 406's finest up on the podium for D3 Race to 2. You guys got third place. How are you feeling? Oh, feeling pretty good. Uh, we uh, we lost a real heartbreaker there in the semifinals to DC Devastation, but we brought it back together and got third place, so I'm pretty happy with our guys. You're still up on the podium. Anyone you want to thank? I'd like to thank uh, Planet Eclipse, uh, Ninja Air, um, Primetime Paintball in Wyoming, and Midway Paintball in California. Awesome. Well, congratulations, guys. Great job. Thank you. You guys got to cheer a little bit. Where's your excitement? Odds that this cop has never eaten a donut. Odds of making one of those ridiculous TV dance competition shows. Odds of meeting this person. Odds of you winning this tournament. Odds of you winning a prize from Valken. Especially if you head over to Facebook and enter our Paintball Access Daily Contest. Enter, win, celebrate.